there, there's some interesting research on in, in psychology that looks at commitment devices, you could say. When a person gets into a situation and they have to make a choice, and they, you know, like if they if they can choose A or B, and then that's it. They have no choice. They 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 stuck with that choice thereafter. Versus, right. I can choose this, but then at a certain point, I can change my mind and choose the other one instead. Uh -huh. Is, you know, people vary in how they respond to those things, but on mm -hmm. the whole, most people are happier when they've made a choice and did not have the ability to change it later. So uh -huh. they're actually more satisfied with the result when they don't have the option to switch. So it's mm -hmm. like the opt out you're saying, right. where you're saying you've chosen this class and then you can opt out later again. But mm -hmm. what happens is by, by understanding this situation as one in which I made a choice to participate in this and now I'm committed to it. Mm. And then they will make the, the, the explanation is now I will make the best of it. I will right. justify in my mind that this is the best choice for me, regardless of other factors. And, and I think that also the, the kind of community that you're talking about is also one in which they didn't have to make a choice within an impersonal bureaucracy. They made a choice within a community of people who have together made decisions. Like you yeah. said, mm -hmm. we made this decision that this is important. And right. so it's a question of how are you going to participate, not whether you will participate. Right. And right. so what you've done is created a, a, a community that is built on a trusting relationship of, yeah, you're here, here, and you're going to learn this, but we're going to be responsive to your needs. We're not simply yeah. going to say, you have to do this and the teacher is, you know, all powerful. Right. We're saying you come right. into the situation and you're a participant in how it occurs, how it happens. Yes, there's mm -hmm. a content and there's stuff that mm -hmm. the teacher has an agenda to get through. But mm -hmm. how that occurs is going to be part of the conversation and part of how we are together. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of where my work is trying mm -hmm. to emphasize that interactivity, the, the, the bigger context around how those decisions were made, how mm -hmm. that, uh, what the results of those choices are, and the the nature of the relation, like the, the distinction between a intimate caring community and an impersonal bureaucracy right. is a huge factor. It makes a difference. That's why most of the schools I'm talking to are small. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>